Perfect. Okay. Welcome, ladies, beautiful sisters. Thank you for attending today's first call uh, with the Crystal Fuse community. I want to start by uh, sharing my gratitude for Kelly over in Toronto. I have known her for a while, actually a few years now, and we just connected on that spiritual level, uh, manifested this little puppy a couple of years back, and I've been sharing her gift and her love with as many people as I can here in Hawaii. Um, so I'm just so happy to see you. And if you can, please show your cameras. This is an interactive call. All of my calls are interactive and a little bit different, not just information. So thank you for participating and showing your cameras, showing your video. And then go ahead and open up the chat too, so that you can participate with me. Um, if you're driving, please do not chat. <laughs> um, just stay driving, driving safe on the road. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to welcome everybody to the Crystal Fuse community. This is going to be so much fun. This is all about love, light, high vibrations, and really helping you, the women of today and tomorrow, move forward into our dreams, into these realities that don't currently exist, but we know that we can create it. I'm here to help you to be the catalyst to do just that. So go ahead in the chat and let me know where you guys are tuning in from. <laughs> I am in Hawaii, so it is 10 a.m. for me on Wednesday, and I want to know where you lovely ladies are from. Yay, Toronto! <laughs> Vanessa's like, I'm tuning in from work. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, Alexis from California. I'm actually born and raised in California. Veronica's in Colombia. Wow. Okay, Catherine, I might say this wrong. Mississauga? Mississauga? <laughs> Mississauga. <laughs> Mississauga. Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> I am not from Canada. I do not know the names of your cities. Montreal, Toronto, awesome. Okay, so I love it. I love Canada and I love the people from Canada, men, women, like you guys are so nice. Like just so you know, if you didn't know, you guys are so nice. So yeah, I love you guys. All right, well, thank you again for coming today. We're gonna dive into the manifestation mindset. So I wanna know, just raise your hand. How many of you guys are interested in learning more about manifesting? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Catherine's in the sunshine. Yes. Uh, today we're diving into manifesting and what it is and what it isn't. I am a manifestation coach. I mentor women and business owners, families um, on manifesting. And really it's a process. So I want you guys to know that manifesting is a process. It's not a, a quick fix band-aid solution to a problem. It's actually a process and it becomes a lifestyle. So once you're a manifester and you understand the process, you are forever a manifester. And just remember that we are always creating. So if you want to write that down, manifesting is a process and I am always creating. Manifesting is a process and I am always creating. So the really important piece that comes with manifesting is your mindset, okay? And there's a lot of information out there on mindset, and there's a lot of information on um, self-development, which we'll get into later, but today we're just going to stick with manifesting. And so first off, who am I? Why am I talking about manifesting? Why, why should you care? Why, why is this important? Um, so a little bit about me. I'm born and raised in California. I had this dream to one day live in Hawaii. I didn't know how I would do it. And I didn't know when. I just knew that I was going to live there one day. Like my soul, actually the island called me. And I was just trying to force my way to Hawaii. Like I tried to come here for college. I tried to get a job. I tried to do field work. None of it worked because my mindset wasn't right about it. It wasn't right. And I wasn't ready. And if I came too early, I wouldn't be living the life here that I am living here now. So just know that when you are ready, the next step appears. Kind of like when the student is ready, the master appears. It's basically like that. The universe is our master and we can begin to master ourselves so that we can create in the universe. Okay. And so when I was living in California, I did the whole thing. I call it the checklist life, went to school good grades, went to college, 
did all the things, got involved in all the groups, uh, got a nice job after college and it was a nine to five and it was nice until I hated it and I needed to get out. So what did I do? I went back to school. I got my grad graduate degree. I became an occupational therapist, got the letters after my name, found a guy, got married, got a house, got cars. I did, I did it. I was the good girl. I, I did, look mom, look Mary, look mom, I did this. And at the end of the day, I wasn't happy. Still, I had the checklist, look mom. And still I wasn't happy, right? How many of you guys resonate with that? Like I did all the things, but mm, it's not exactly what I thought. Yeah, because here's, here's the thing. And I wanna, I wanna tell you guys, since 2015, that's when I got certified as a coach. I was already an occupational therapist learning self-development 2015. So everything that I share is coming from at least seven years of, we'll call it quote unquote, spiritual experience on top of my therapy medical background experience. It's kind of mixed in together. Okay. Um, and I'm going to share with you from my experience, from my personal experience and my client's experience. Nothing I share with you is something that I read on Instagram. It's stuff that I have seen work and not work. And I want you to know that I am trying to be as real as possible and authentic. So if I come off a little bit intense, it's because I really want to help you clear the bullshit. I'm not about bullshit. There's a lot of bullshit out there. And this group is not about that. Okay. We are about authenticity and actually moving forward in truth. Yes. Okay. So perfect. Um, so when I was living in that, you know, living that life with the money and the cars and the purses, and like all the fun stuff, I looked at my husband one day after work in our empty house and we were like, why did we want all of this? Why? Like it didn't, it didn't make sense because I had this dream, right? I wanted to manifest living in Hawaii and I wouldn't be completely fulfilled until I lived there. I had some attachment but it's okay because what happened is he agreed and he was like, you know what? If not now, when? So we put our house on the market, sold it in two weeks, got our one-way ticket to Honolulu. Two months later, had six bags and my dog who is barking. He wants to come in the room. Should I let Sylvester in? <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, mom, let me in. You want to say hi to the girl? Here. Just really quick. Okay, you're part of the introduction. This is Sylvester. Hi. Oh, yes. Okay, he's going to go nap. <laughs> um, so we moved here. I'm like finally happy, right? If I only manifested it, the world is my oyster, the islands are my oyster. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Two months after we landed, I got pregnant. I know sold our house we moved away from everybody that we knew we're living 4,000 miles away in the middle of the freaking ocean and now I'm pregnant like what so I'm going to teach you this technique it's called my okay exercise okay how many of you guys ever feel stressed out overwhelmed confused like what do I do okay you go like this you breathe all of that in you go and then you release it and you say okay hey god Okay, universe, and just take that breath. So simple, but honestly, like it works because we are magic right here. We, we are so magic. We are so magic. I could say we are so money, right? But we are so magic, okay? And when you take that breath for yourself and say, okay, that is the beginning of what's called surrender and what so many people have a problem with. Yeah. Catherine's like, mm -hmm. yeah, yep. I see. I got it. <laughs> All right. So take that breath. I went, okay. So what do we do next? Find a place, right? The baby's coming to me. The thing that is manifesting, it, I'm going to say it wasn't intentional. It wasn't, but here we are. Here's a gift. What do we do with gifts? Do we say, oh no, I, mm. no, we say, Oh, thank you. Even if we already have 10. 
you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now I have to find a place to place the gift. So we found a long-term rental and we're ready to have our baby. And four months in, I remember I'm from the medical field. I'm aware I'm awake, right? I know what happens back there. I'm going to do it my way. And so we said, okay, I'm going to do one ultrasound. And I just want to make sure there's one head, 10 fingers, 10 toes, right? How many of you guys here are moms out of curiosity? How many moms? No? Okay. So get, get ready if you do want to be a mom. Okay. Just no. And I found out that there were two babies in there. <laughs> All right, Veronica. <laughs> uh <-huh. sighs> okay, God. Okay, universe. I guess we're doing this, right? So set up our space. I had, I'm just happy to share with you that I had a very happy and healthy Hawaiian twin home birth. Back in 2017, everything went well. And if you're wanting to get pregnant, wanting to learn about that, like hit me up. I'll bring you through the mindset of all of that. It's for another call. But literally, ladies, like we are so magic. We are so magic. Guys cannot get near this. Okay? Like they cannot. Like physically, emotionally, mentally, like they can talk, but they can't do what we do. They're not built for the magic that we can bring into this world. Yes, they can't. So my mission really is to connect with leaders, influencers, mompreneurs, future women in the spotlight. I'm here to help you really experience your magic so that you can birth that into the world. So whatever your vision is, whatever your your dream is whatever your one day I will idea is, this is the place to plant it into the ground. It's time, okay? You've gotten all the seeds, you know, you're scrolling on all the stuff, you're reading the books, you're watching the YouTube, you're listening to the podcast. Those are the seeds. Now it's time to plant, okay? And it's time to plant with the intention with the intention knowing that, well, since I have this dream or this vision and it's a part of me, right? And I am magic, then this has magic too. And I'm ready. And I might not know what, what is gonna come, right? Is it gonna be a flower? Is it gonna be a maple tree and I can get syrup from it? Is it going to be flowers? Is it going to be vegetables? I don't know. But all I know right now is I need to plant this right now. How many of you guys resonate with this? Just nod your head. Because times are changing, ladies. And we've also got to make some changes. So just know that you being here and you being present to whatever dream or vision or whatever that is that you've put in the back burner and you've put you know, one day I will, but right now I need to do this. Just, just think about what you could create when you set a little bit more of intention onto the thing that you want. Okay. So had my babies, they turned one, yay, big milestone. And I was ready to launch my coaching business. It's been two years, right? I moved, had the babies. And I was like, ah, I can't do the coaching thing. I'm going to do it now. Where's my period? I was pregnant again. <laughs> One year after having the twins. How does this work? I can't nurse a third. It doesn't work that way. I don't understand. Okay. Okay, God. Okay, universe. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Another home birth. Okay. Six months after that, I, you know, I have three under the age of three and I'm like, I came to Hawaii to what? To become a milk machine? Like this is not what I planned, right? This is not what I planned. But here's my takeaway from that is that everything is temporary. So write that down. Everything is temporary. Your current situation is not your forever situation. My current situation is not my forever situation because I am magic and I can create 
worlds. I can create realities. And I can actually mold the universe into what is meant for me. You can. You can because Kelly is doing it. You can because I'm doing it. You can because we're all doing this. And in this 3D world, okay, we're going to go here. We're going to go to dimensions today. In this 3D world, we look separate. We look like we're different. Oh yeah, Lizelle's in Hawaii, she's over there. Yeah, okay, but guess what? We're also connected and I'm gonna show you in a few minutes how we are. But you know this, in, in the 3D on the earth, it's the physical plane. So time and space separate us. We're in different time zones. We have different bodies. But when we go higher, higher frequencies, higher vibrations, higher dimensions, in the fourth dimension, we connect through our heart, through our emotions. That's why we can watch a movie and feel certain things, but we're not there physically, but it's on an emotional level that we feel stuff, right? And we are reading a book or we're hearing like you're like when you, you were listening to my story, you're like, oh, it's, it's that, that emotional piece to us. And that is just outside of our physical body. It's like a layer about that thick. I don't see it. Some people can but just know that your magic surrounds you and it moves through you. And then after that, when we go into the fifth dimension and higher, we are connected through the spiritual level, through the energetic level, through the thought realm, through the invisible where there is information. Okay, and this is how I get to share with you is yes, we're live um, in time and space, but we are separated through distance. However, the information travels, and this is what's really cool about technology. So I'm going to bring you through a quick little uh, guided meditation. And this is what I call the ground and center. And I love doing this. I do this on all of my calls. So whenever you see me post something or Kelly post something of what I'm doing, you're going to get grounded and centered. So if you're driving, keep driving and Tune me out a little bit if you can. And if you are not, go ahead and get into a comfortable space. And we're going to bring you to your center. Okay, so I'm going to have you sit comfortably in your chair. And when you're there, <laughs> you can either sit on the ground, which is great, or sit on a chair. And I want you to do something a little bit silly, but take your uh, hand and Unscoop your thigh flesh so that your sit bones are flat on the ground or flat on the seat. And this will allow your hips to relax. Us women carry a lot of stress, anger, and anxiety in our hips. And when we could give our hips a break, we give our entire body a break because that's what keeps us together. So when you're in your seat, just close your eyes and listen to my voice. This will just be about two minutes long. And this is your opportunity to come to your center so that you can create from your core. And what I mean by that is create from your truth, create from your soul without any distractions of balancing or tightening any muscles or anything like that. So as you are closing your eyes, I invite you to feel your body. Just feel the body that is holding you here on this planet. And as far as sounds go, take any sounds you hear in your room or on my side as an invitation to focus in deeper. Okay, my neighbor is doing some work on their house, so this is going to be good practice. Go ahead now. Together, let's take three deep breaths in. So in through the nose and out the mouth. Beautiful. Breath number two, in through the nose. And release out the mouth. Breath number three, inhale through the nose. And hold at the top.
and slowly release out the mouth. Keeping your eyes closed, just observe any tingles, any sensations happening in your body. It's totally normal. Allow your breath to breathe. Allow your body to carry you through this breath. And just know that you are in a safe space. You can put your hands on your heart and just silently thank yourself for showing up today, for showing up to learn about what's possible and to open your mind to manifesting the life of your dreams. Let's close this off with one group deep breath in, in through the nose. And then release, you can sigh out the mouth with me. <sighs> you can bring your hands down if you brought them up and begin wiggling your fingers and wiggling your toes rolling your ankles and your wrists, making cracking noises like me, and then slowly open your eyes. I'm feeling chill. And I wanna know how you're feeling right now. Go ahead and type in the chat what's coming to you or what emotion you're feeling after that. Peaceful lighter. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling very present. Yes, and light. Yes, present. This, this is cool. I love this. Vanessa's feeling de-stressed and lighter. Thank goodness for quiet rooms at work. That was needed. Yes, good. Captain's feeling relaxed. You did this. And this is you, this right here, that it's like a warm, I feel tingly, I like my entire body, I'm an empath, so I can feel you, I can feel like down my arms, down my legs, it's like my whole body, my even my face, which is really cool. Different rooms to me, like Zoom rooms have different feelings, and, and this room, it's like nice, it's, it's pretty even, which is not actually normal for me. So I'm loving the vibes in here. It's all good. And I, like, this is you. How you feel right now is you without the bullshit. This is you without the fear. This is you without the monkey mind. This is you without the worries. This is you being in yourself. Do you feel that power? I got it right here in the back of my head. Yeah. So for you ladies who are moms, for you ladies who are entrepreneurs, for you ladies who have to do, you know, presentations at work, take two minutes, go to the bathroom, go to your desk, shut the, shut the door to your office and just take three deep breaths, bring yourself to you so that when you speak, when you teach, when you're guiding, you're doing it from you, not from what you should be doing or what you have to do, or from the girl that everyone thinks you're supposed to be, okay? Moving forward, you have the opportunity to choose yourself to take those three breaths and then act from this space of you. I don't feel right here. Good. Okay, I want you to take 30 seconds right now and just jot down any notes about the past, you know, five, 10 minutes, just jot down the notes, any reminders for yourself. I know this is the beginning of manifesting and this is like so important. Manifesting comes from you, not, not from the outside, not from a, a post, it comes from you.
Okay, 15 more seconds. I can have a sip of my, I think this is citrine. Is this smoky? I forget. Citrine. It's citrine. It's citrine. I remember saying, I'm drinking abundance. <laughs> I hope this is helpful. I hope this is giving you some insight on creating. There's, there's a lot of content. There's a lot of information. But what's most important is your connection with yourself. So this is fun. I hope you're having fun. All right. Um, so let's see. Out of curiosity, how many of you girls want to manifest abundance? Like, raise your hand. Okay, there we go. Manifesting abundance. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, everybody, hold on. Let's just join Catherine right here and let's just do the abundance dance. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to tell you something about abundance. It's so much easier for me to teach on these calls versus on like a live or a story or a post, because what abundance really loves is energy. It loves movement, right? So it loves this, like you're celebrating it. Like abundance also isn't just money. It's so much more than that. And what abundance really loves is joy, joy, joy happiness. It loves the higher vibrations because they move faster, right? If you're sad, depressed, anxious, stressed out, worried about money, worried about where am I going to, how am I da, da, da. And if you imagine that your money and you're seeing yourself go, uh, are you going to be like, I want to hang out with her? Or are you going to be like, mm, I'm going to wait till she looks like she's having a better time and then I'll come back. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is a concept that a lot of people don't understand. And they try to get the money through hustle and grind and grr and the, the testosterone, uh, which you can do that. I'm not saying that you can't, but that's a lot of energy. And for us women who are magic, like it's so much easier to let the abundance flow toward us than to try to grr our way to it. Right. Yeah. Okay. So yes, see the grr see the hustle, see the grind. Cool. That works. So does flow. So does flow. And how do we, how do we flow? We come into ourselves. If we're trying to be somebody else, like an influencer or somebody who is not us, and we try to do it outside of ourselves, money is going to go, I thought, Wait, wasn't, wasn't she it's going to be confused? Give me a, well, what didn't she, I'm going to wait until she knows who the heck she is. And then I'm going to join her party. Like literally that's what happens when we try to do things out of alignment. Like when I was working in the medical field and I was, you know, helping people, I'm here, I'm here on the planet to help people. When I was helping people and they were saying, no, you can't do that. That's out of your scope of practice. No, you can't do that. That's in dietary. No, you can't do that. That's a nursing. No, you can't do that. I'm like, why am I here? Like, why am I here? I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want the money from here. This is not okay with me. Right. So know what's important to you. And when you know what's important to you, you can cut out all the other crap that doesn't actually matter to you. Focus on your joy, focus on your bliss, and then move through that, right? So if I kept helping people in that world, I would feel miserable because there's limits over there. So find a space to manifest where you're free to be you. So come to your center, Listen to that vision that you have in your mind, in your heart. Maybe it's one day I want to live in California. 
Maybe it's one day I want to live in Guatemala. Maybe it's one day I want to live in London. Maybe it's one day I want to live in Hawaii and we can hang out. Like whatever it is, it's, it's yours. Don't let anybody tell you what you're here to do. Because at the end of the day, your life is about you. Even if you have kids, your life is about you. Even if you have a husband or a boyfriend, your life is about you. Your current situation is not your forever situation. Okay. And as far as money goes, I've actually been working with Dr. Alok Trivedi. He's actually from Toronto, I think. Well, originally from India, moved to Toronto. Now he's in Chicago. And so I partnered with him this year because our missions are super, super aligned. And what his mission is, is to really um, give access to everybody, the abundance in the world through rewiring their brains, like rewiring. And so I'm learning more and more about the brain and how it relates to manifesting. So I'm so excited to be here because I get to share the science behind manifesting and how it all works. And I know today's the intro, so we'll dive into more stuff in the future. But for those of you who are here, um, Kelly, can I give everybody a gift today? Yay! Okay, so I shared that I'm gonna do something special. And because I'm partnered with Dr. Trevetti, we call him Dr. T, because I'm partnered with Dr. Trevetti, he gave me a special opportunity to share one of his courses with the people that I'm working with. He knows I'm a coach. He knows I have a global mission. My personal mission is to actually collaborate with leaders and you know, mompreneurs and women all over the world to create a future that serves and empowers all, okay? So I'm all about empowerment. I'm all about, I mean, you, you see that. <laughs> I'm all about empowerment. And I'm all about just allowing what comes to come, take what I want, pass on what I don't. And also whatever I love, I'm gonna share with everybody that I know. So because I have gotten so much value from Dr. T, I am sharing his work as far and wide as I can. And I'm so happy, this is so cool because he's from Toronto and I get to share it with a Toronto community. So how many of you would want to know how to rewire your finances? Just raise your hand if you wanna know how to rewire your finances. Yes, I'm with you. Because one of my missions too, is kind of like a side mission, but so, so, so dear to my heart is, and I don't know if you girls see this, but I see it, Kelly, you, you may have seen it. I know you've been in this world for a while. A lot of people in the spiritual community have abundance blocks and they want to be spiritual, but they're like, I can't, no, no, I don't care about the money. No, I don't care about the money, but they need the money to live. They need the money to pay the bills, to do the things like you, we're both, we're both spiritual, we're both human. We're both, we're not just one or the other. Yes, we're a spiritual being, having a human experience, but at the same time, like we're both. So what I actually want to do is to bring money into the spiritual community. And we're going to do that by being ourselves. How do we do that? We do that by clearing the shit. That's not us. <laughs> we do that by rewiring these connections that our parents passed down to us, that society passed down to us, and really just peel back the layers so that we can manifest from our truth. Okay, so what I'm gonna share with you is a QR code. Um, so get your phones ready or go ahead and screenshot. Let me see, how do I do this? Share screen, I'll just share it for like. Okay, can you see that? QR code, it says scan me. Um, if you can't screenshot or if you just want to write it down, it's also bit.ly slash financial rewire. And so what this is, so, you know, take, take your phone, take a picture, take a screenshot. It's going to bring you to a form that goes to my team. And on that form, it says billing address. You don't need a credit card. Don't freak out. This is free. Okay. This is two months free of this course that I have taken. I'm still going through it. There's so much information. Um, just do it, answer the questions, schedule your call. You get two months, 60 days of free access to coach um, of coaching and rewiring your finances and literally opening up doors that your parents never saw. 
opening up opportunities and pathways to abundance that your grandparents, that your neighbors, that your friends never saw. This course is really meant to literally like disconnect you from the untruths and then reconnect it to what's true for you. So I'm super excited. I'm so happy to share this with you. Let's see what you guys think. Yes. Yay, you're welcome. Yes. Okay. Yay. So I'm still taking the course. I, I'm in it for a longer. Yeah, let's get this money. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing that. Um, so you got it. So go ahead and set up your appointment. I'll, you know, check in with you and see how you're doing. Um, but I'm in there and we're all learning together. And as we move forward in these calls, like I'm going to reference this course. And for those of you who are taking it, like, let's share the wealth, like, let's share this information because like Kelly said, this community, like it's all for each other. It's all for us. It's all for the future. Yeah. And I want to know, like, how many of you are getting so much out of this one training so far? Woo! Good. Like, ladies, like, we're honestly, like, just getting started. I am so excited because Kelly's energy is just amazing. I honestly, we haven't talked in a while. And then a month ago, I was like, hey, girl, what are you doing? Can, do you have any, like, things I could do a call for? And little did I know she was actually in the background creating this community and it was just divine timing. So again, ladies, like when you are connected to yourself and you can just listen to your soul, listen to the guidance, it's going to guide you to places that are going to create opportunities for you. Like literally that is what happens. Yes. It's time to make it rain. Like let's make waves in this spiritual community and show the world that yes, you can be spiritual and you can make it rain because there's too many people that think it's one or the other. They're separated from themselves. We're here to connect ourselves with ourselves so that we can create more for the world. Yeah. Okay. Yay! I'm so excited. Um, I want to know like what questions you guys have. Do you like if you want to unmute and ask a question? We've got some time to, I don't know, like see what else you want to learn about manifesting in the future, or maybe there's something going on in your life that you just want to play with right now. I'm totally open if you guys are. And if not, it's fine. We could save that for future calls, but just know that I love being interactive and I love talking to you. Um, I don't like it being just a one way thing. So your participation in the chat is huge. Um, it shows me that you're here and that you're really putting energy into yourself and for the future. And, you know, I really want to help you move towards your goals. Okay. So if there's no questions, I do want to end with something extra special, which I'm not going to do on every call. So um, for those of you who are finding value in today, I want you to raise your hand, like physically raise your hand, like show yourself like, yes, I'm learning. I am expanding my mind. I'm stepping into myself. Thank you. I love this and I want more of this. And what I really want to help you do, because if you are in a space where you could use support, like extra support, like a community or just somebody else to help you get what's in here out, I am going to gift you something else. Uh, all of you who are here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, minus me. So there's 11 of you. So if all 11 of you want it, I'm going to give it to you because I love you. And I know that this is just the beginning. So what I'm going to gift you is a private coaching session, one-on-one -on -one with me. I created some time after this first call, I created time in the next week, just for you ladies who are here. So all you have to do is help me and Kelly grow the community. Also, she doesn't know that I'm doing this. <laughs> this is trippy. So all you have to do is help us grow this community because we have such big visions. She hasn't even told me her big vision. I'm starting to share yours, to share mine with you and her at the same time. And what I want to do is grow this community, 
tag me in a story, like take a picture right now, a boomerang, a video, something, document that you were here, tag me in it, and then share a takeaway or something that you got from today's call. Anything, post it on Instagram, tag me, tag Kelly, tag Crystal Fuse. We are going to make waves and it's going to be so much fun because we're not doing it alone and we're doing it for a higher purpose. Yes, I love it. Let's do it. So after you tag me, then of course, I'm going to follow you. I'm going to know who you are, share it. And then I will send you a special link that I'm not giving anybody else to book your free one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. So I'm so excited and I'm so grateful. Like I'm serious when I say that I want to see you all win. <laughs> You're so awesome too, Kelly. You are so welcome. Like wherever you are in your life, in your motherhood, in your relationship or lack of relationship, in your business, in your school, in your job, like wherever you are, I know that's not where you want to be because honestly, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm enjoying where I'm at and I'm going to move forward with more and more like-minded women. And I hope that you are too. Yay, Veronica, you're welcome. Woo! All right. So if that's, you know, that's it, go ahead and, you know, do what you need to do to tag me, Kelly and Crystal Fuse. I love you ladies. I am so happy. Oh, you know what? I need to document this because this is the first call that I'm doing for you guys. And I love being a part of this and I have to close all these things. Hold on, hold on. Get ready for your boomerang because it's happening. <laughs> oh, awesome. Thanks, Kelly. Okay, everybody, ready? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Okay, so I love that I'm able to be my authentic self with you. I love that I can be silly. I love that I could be a little bit intense. And again, this is just my introduction to you. So that is my gift to you on this first call to the 11 of you here. Also the QR code, let's get in there. Let's make it rain and let's share this abundance with everybody. We're ready. So with that, um, actually, Kelly, would you mind unmuting for a minute? and sharing um, anything that you want with the girls before we hop off and then confirming what is coming up next for the community. Yes, thank you so much. I know we all loved you and your energy. So thank you, I'm looking forward to it. Um, so, so sorry with the schedule, I messed up the dates. I kept putting the brown little circle on the wrong date and then, yeah, so. I just dropped it for next week for Wednesday. So um, I'm going to talk to Lizelle to figure out which day works best for her so we can have her consistently if she wants once a week. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to talk to Lizelle about that, about which day if she wants to keep uh, Wednesday or Thursday or Monday or maybe the weekend. Um, cause for next week, I just have one, a new guest speaker for Wednesday. Cause I was going to do, um, mind you, like I'm still figuring out the whole schedule. When I created this community, I was literally like, I need to just do this because if I don't do this, I'm such a procrastinator that like, I'm just never going to do it. So I'm like, okay, let me just create this community. Let's see how many people would even be down to join. And then it grew to like over a hundred. So I'm like, oh my God. Okay. Now this is getting real. Now I really have to like put this schedule together. I got to message a bunch of people that I know that I've been in the space for so long that can commit to like certain days to pour out value. So I reached out to one of my uh, girls, uh, Kiki, she's actually out in, uh, in Arizona. So she's going to be hosting next week, Wednesday, but I'm going to figure out with Lizelle to have a consistent day with her because I know we all love her and her energy. So we need that in our community. So we'll figure out whether it will be moving forward um, after next week, Lizelle on Wednesdays, or we'll do like a different day and then have you consistently. Um, but as for next week, Wednesday, it's going to be Kiki. And she's also um, been super in the space and she's gone through a whole lot of shit that she has broken free out of her uh, like uh, healing journey and all of that. So she has so much value to get to pour out also. 
Um, so I'm going to talk to you, Lizelle, after this call, and then we'll drop a schedule. But thank you guys for making this space possible, right? Like it wouldn't be possible if you guys weren't to show up. So I'm super excited to start this journey with you guys and continue growing and learning from each other and just having this safe space. So like Lizelle said, like the more that we promote it, the more that like we tag each other, repost each other and put it out there, the more our community is gonna grow and the more that we're gonna grow and the more abundance that is gonna flow all around. So I'm just really excited. Thank you so much, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, everybody. And we'll see you on Telegram and see you on the future calls. Yes. And see you on Instagram. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bye, guys. All right. Bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Vibrational day. Thank you. <laughs> Woo, I love it. <laughs> bye.